Hey guys, welcome to this video. Here I'm gonna be taking you through how we set up quotes within XPM. Now, there are two different ways we can set up quotes. The first is we can create a job and then we create a quote within that job. And when we accept the quote, it goes and applies those financial, that financial information from the quote into that job there. The other way is by creating a quote not associated with a job, and when we accept that quote, it's gonna prompt us to create a job because once the quote's accepted, it knows that we now have a job to work on. So those are two different ways. Now, setting up quotes is uh, really valuable for a number of reasons. One is because we can create a quote template that we then send off to our client to accept. The other one is because it, when we go to invoice, we have the ability to invoice based on that quote. So I'll give you an example. Let's say we quote a, our client $5,000 for a, a budget and a cash flow forecast. Now when we go and do our timesheets on the job, we might only come to $4,000 of timesheets. So when we go to send the invoice, we have the option of billing the $4,000 of timesheets, or we have the option of billing the $5,000 quote. So having that flexibility there is really, really powerful. So what I'm gonna do in this example here is I'll take you through the process of uh, creating a job and then we'll create a uh, quote within the job and I'll show you how that applies to the financial settings in the job. And then we'll go and uh, do a timesheet and then look at doing an invoice for that. So a bit of a walkthrough from start to finish here of how we quote and how that looks when it gets to an invoice stage. So let's jump into XPM now and we'll do that. Okay, so I am in XPM right now in the job manager. So I'm gonna start with creating a job. Okay, so now we choose the client. So let's make this one A1 Lawn Care. And then the job template. So what we can do is we can apply a template at this stage or we can apply the template when we go to quote the job. So I'm just gonna leave this out at the moment, not choose a template. And I'm gonna make the job name budgeting and cash flow forecast. Right, so job state, job category, put all that information in. Let's make this a consulting job. Give it a due date. Select your staff, all those bits and pieces, and then hit save. Great, so then what we're gonna to do to create the quote, as you'll notice that there's no tasks in here because we didn't use a template. So if I go to financial, and we come over here and we're gonna go new quote. Now, you can do a new quote or a new estimate. Now, these are exactly the same. The only difference is how it displays on the PDF when we print it out. So if we choose a new estimate, it'll say estimate at the top. If we choose new quote, it'll say new quote at the top. So I generally just stick to uh, doing a new quote, but again, you can um, you, you pick the one that's most relevant for your situation. Right, so now we're gonna go and put in the information on this quote. So if we go new task, and then we're gonna choose uh, budgeting and cash flow projection, and then we can put an estimated time in here. So this might be, let's say, uh, we estimate 16 hours, and then hit save. Which, uh, what it does is it takes the 16 hours multiplied by the billable rate is 300, and that billable rate was set up when we set the task up. It comes to 4,800. Now, we're actually gonna quote $5,000 for this. So what we can do is we can either wiggle around with the time there, or we can make the pricing mode fixed price. So when we choose fixed price, it gives us the ability to overwrite the amount, like that. So make that 5,000, and that really is my preference when we're quote, quoting, as I like to go and update that pricing mode to fixed price. We can book costs in if relevant, and then we can go issue and print. So when we issue this to the client, what we wanna do is build some uh, invoice templates, or sorry, our quote templates, so you can have different variations, because some of them we want to have the quantity and the rate showing, and other ones we don't, we just wanna show cash flow projection and the amount. So if I hit print, and I'll show you why this is relevant. So this is just the standard template here, you obviously wanna design a much nicer looking one than this. So what we've got is description, budgeting and cash flow projection, and we don't have the time and rate here, because if we had the, the time of 16 hours and the rate, of $300, we're gonna look a little bit silly because we've gone and made that 5,000, where it should be 4,800, and I think a lot of clients would pick up on that. So if you are gonna use fixed price, just make sure that you're not using the time and rate, or they're not displaying the time and the rate in your quote template there. So I'm just gonna click back into the quote here, and then hit accepted, so we can accept, revise, or decline the quote. So when I hit accepted, what that does is it's gonna apply that to the job. And I'll show you how it looks. So if I go to financial, and then down to print financial summary, you will see that we now have uh, estimated cost 1,280, and that's based on the base rate of that task, and we've quoted $5,000, which is our fixed price we put in there. So as we accumulate timesheets, 
uh, we're going to be populating the actual costs and the billable amount. And when we go to invoice, we're going to have that option to bill off what's billable or bill off what was quoted. So go back to the job now. I'm just going to quickly put a timesheet entry in here. So let's say I do uh, the work in 13 hours. Then hit financial. And bear in mind that my rate's going to pull through here and at 150 an hour. So if I go to print financial summary now, you can see how this is populated. There we go. So I've got, uh, I've got a billable rate of 150 an hour at the moment. So that's pulled through uh, 2600 because what it's done is in your settings, you can bill on the staff billable rates or the task billable rates. And the way I've set this up is to bill on the staff billable rate. So that's my rate and not what that rate was for the task. And again, we're gonna go through that in a lot more detail a bit later. So if we go back to the job, go to financial and I go new progress invoice. I can choose to bill back based on the actual time and costs, which if I look at this, it's gonna pull through Sorry, my rate was $200 an hour, not $150, so I stand corrected. So there we go, so it can bill uh, $2,600, but what we want to do though, rather than billing on the timesheets, we want to bill on what we quoted them. So if we go quoted, next, it pulls up the $5,000 here. So then we want to go approve and print to create our invoice. I've got some invoice templates in here, let's just make it the summary invoice. Hit print, and there we go. Nice looking invoice for our client there. So what I'm gonna do one last thing is I'm gonna take you back through and I'm gonna show you how that looks in the financial summary. So I've gone into the, back into financial, go print financial summary, and you'll see here that we have quoted 5,000 and we've invoiced 5,000 and the actual cost on the job based on my base rate was 650. And from there you can see uh, the profit that we've made on the job. Great, so that is how we quote on a job. So what we've looked at is we created a job and then created a quote within that job and applied it to the job. But you can also go through and create a quote and then accept that quote to create the job. So have a bit of a play around with those two different methods and I'll see you guys in the next video.